Dark. I'm black. <laughs> there we go. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna get copyrighted with this song on though. Tilly's here. Y'all probably don't. I mean, I don't know if people remember you. Hopefully they do. Last time we linked up was what, Atlanta? No, uh, we were in Atlanta. Yeah. The last video from yeah, last house. Last apartment. That got like 10,000 views. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like a lot of people have seen oh, that. Oh, matter of fact, after that, we, we had the questions. Two. We should do a part two. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, I thought you were talking about the party when everybody was there. Sharon, no, 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 no. I'm talking about this one when you uh, bandana, bandana Casey was out, okay? <laughs> when well, Casey wears that bandana, a whole different it's a Casey. different girl. If anybody's wondering why I'm dressed up, uh, we're about to do this. What is this called? The non-stop challenge? Like, what uh, is flip the switch? Flip the switch. I think flip the switch, yeah. The little thing going I on I just flip the, the switch. So, I got on this whole skirt. I'm gonna put on this, <laughs> I'm gonna look like a whole lesbian. With the do rag. With the do rag. <laughs> This is gonna be hilarious. Is it a TikTok thing or is it just a I video thing? It was a TikTok thing. Or do we just make the video and then you can post it? My friends, to her sister's like TikTok. Friends. We're old. What are you gonna say? How do you do the flip the switch thing? 54, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh, it's called non stop. How old are you, Tilly? <laughs> I'm typing flip the switch in. When did you get this old? <laughs> we'll be back when we figure this out. <laughs> Stop. No! <laughs> I'm dead. Now I gotta look like this fucking. Look this switch. <sighs> Shit. Come on, we gotta get your. Come on, let's, let's okay. go to the bathroom. Let's get your. Let me let's get, get your. Let's get your oh, let's get your do rag. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, let me put all these clothes on first. Wait, which bathroom? You going to that one? Or you wanna go to this one? Oh. Him and this album with a do rag. Hmm? I need some room for the do rag. Okay, yeah, it's tight in there. About to get Casey them waves. <laughs> okay, baby girl. <laughs> this is hilarious. I'm gonna keep my hoops on though. Oh, yes. This is a real um, father daughter moment. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you got a velvet do rag. <laughs> you like that? Who oh, is he? Oh, you like that? Who oh, is he? I got a big ass head and shit, but like. Oh, you good. I think our head's the same size. <laughs> I, I didn't even untie it enough. We got big heads, okay? I need to put on some music so I can get in the. Go ahead and get this on. Throw that my type on. Oh, I should. Throw that my type on. You saying that in this outfit is hilarious. I'm so weak. The first time I ever do put a do-rag on a girl. <laughs> the first for everything. I love you for this. Oh, this is perfect. I've been on work mode. I needed to have more fun. I, I just, told you. I just posted something the other day. Like, I didn't have more fun. Serious, I told you. Everybody's so serious. We're about to lunch tomorrow, then. I didn't sell that. You can look, you can look, look. <laughs> She's coming out to lunch tomorrow. She's gonna like it, and then she can leave after. Okay, all right. It's, it's not gonna be, be somebody's mom. It's not. <laughs> you are somebody's on screen. Oh all right, yeah. Let's get, get, cool. get in the air. It's good. Am I? Wait, 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 wait. You did a whole. So yeah, we good there. Okay. Should I? Matter of fact, hold on, 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 hold on. These two, I gotta get totally in the. Got gotcha. to. In the zone. In character. Let's right, see. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, oh snap. What they talking oh, about, BC? What they talking shit. about? What they talking about? Bust What's down, Dr. <laughs> Bust down, buddy. <laughs> Alright, let's go do this. The last thing I vlogged, wow. Well, first of all, mirror is gone. Really huge uh, ego death in itself there. <laughs> Didn't realize how many times a day I like go to look in the mirror. Wow, I was in love with my reflection. Cool, ego death happening. <sighs> I'm really like over speaking about this whole coronavirus thing, but that's a thing that's happening. And so here I am documenting it for me to look back on hopefully one day. <laughs> uh, I'm a hermit anyway, so this is not really like a new lifestyle for me. I will say that my Equinox Detox Retreat is this weekend. I had a few people ask me if I was still gonna have it. Like Hustle and Harmony was yesterday. 
and I was surprised that so many people came. Um, Hustle and Harmony, if you're not familiar, is an event I do monthly here in Atlanta with my friend Viper. Uh, and it's like a breathwork meditation, conscious combo kind of thing. And we had a really good turnout. And um, I'm still having my retreat this weekend. I would be lying if I said I'm not like weary. The overall like collective energy right now is just weird. So it's like, it's just funny that I happened to plan this and I'm like, okay, higher self, what do you got in store here? I planned a whole detox retreat during the coronavirus. <laughs> During Equinox, Saturn's about to go, I think, direct to Aquarius. Some crazy shit's about to happen in the sky. So I'm just like, what? and a new moon is on Monday. It's just like, okay, <laughs> all right, this was cute. All right, okay, cool. And for the most part, today has been a super, like, whoa kind of day for me, emotionally. A whole breakdown, y'all. I have been needing to cry for like a month, though. So it was like, it was like, a dinner you've been waiting for. I don't know what else to relate it to, but it was just something that I was like, finally, finally, this is what I've been needing to do. So I bawled my eyes out earlier and took a nap and it's been great. I have been here like all day, chilling. Uh, I'm about to record a podcast episode for my Patreon. No idea what I'm gonna talk about. I never know what I'm gonna talk about until I turn it on. Curious about my Patreon, I have a weekly podcast uh, that lives over there. And then I also share just kind of like videos, journal prompts, advice, books to read. Uh, it's just kind of like a clubhouse <laughs> online though. Working from home life. Testing, testing. Can you hear me? Testing, testing, testing. Can you hear me? It sounds so good. <sighs> well, I can assume that we're all tucked away in our homes <laughs> as you're tuning into this, so hello uh, from me in my bed where I've been all day. But this isn't like out of the ordinary, this is just another day in the life, so. These are all these very spontaneous episodes. I never have these planned. But I kind of am still sitting with a question that I uh, heard yesterday at my Hustle and Harmony event that I host here in Atlanta. It's so much easier said than done, all of this spiritual stuff, right? Like, let go, release, uh, I don't know, step into your power, whatever, all these other affirmations and things we hear always are. But um, there's a lot of fear. There's so much fear in that, that nobody really talks about. Yo. <laughs> wow, it's like a whole different world when I take these off. I had a really good breath session today. Really, really good breath session. Coconut life. What is today? What's going on? It's Wednesday. It's 2.30. We'll be hosting a virtual breath session tonight. By the time this is up, it's past the time. But I'm excited to do that. I um, honestly don't know what style of breathing I want to do. During my breath session, I kind of got like a, not an epiphany, but like a, I don't know. I get like really creative ideas sometimes during breath work. Um, so I think I know what I'm going to do, but it's going to be over on uh, Avo's Instagram. So excited for that really like cool I guess to be where I'm at I don't know why I just watched my room uh, be where I'm at as far as like healing and being able to share something during this time and being like hey guys like something easy you can do all you need is your lungs that's really my day I just I'm working from home I woke up I slept in retreat is still on and popping this is like most of the goodies that will be at the retreat. Do you see these mangoes? It's mango season again, y'all. The past like maybe week or so, I feel like sleep has been really like not as deep for me. It's anxiety, I guess, in a sense. Like just the overall energy of the world, I can just really, really feel like heavy. And so it's like, I just haven't been able to like get into my deep, deep sleep. Like I feel like I'm waking up in like a panic almost. Like not a panic, but just waking up like, we good? Uh, comment down below how your quarantine is going. What are you up to? 
My hair is getting really long. Say hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I feel like I could say that forever. I just got back from my very first retreat that I hosted. This is what I look like. Just took a bath. Cried in the bath. I'm so... Grateful doesn't even feel like a good enough, like, I had a smoothie, so hence the purple tongue. I'm so fucking just, I can't believe, like, just what? What is happening? You guys didn't know, I have a very first retreat this past weekend, and it's crazy because, like, I don't have goals and, like, things like that anymore. Like, as far as, like, there's this thing I want to do one day, but I feel like I just checked off a huge goal I didn't even realize I had. Like, I'm capable of doing this. I'm capable, I'm able, I'm capable, and I'm worthy of hosting something like this. And people will trust in me as much as I trust in myself. <laughs> I can't, I'm like, I'm speechless. First of all, the drive home, everybody was just like, I'm still smiling. Like, I have been smiling all weekend. Okay, let me talk, let me form words, cause Ah. This past weekend I had my Equinox Detox Retreat, which was like a liquid fasting and kind of just breathwork based retreat. There was other activities we did and um, you know, a lot of other things involved, but uh, the group that I attracted couldn't have been more perfect. I don't even like to say like I attracted, but like if any of you guys are watching, I feel like we'll forever have like a, like no matter what, like in two days alone and we all agreed that it felt like literally a week. Like we. We're so in the now, like time slows down when you're in the now, when you're in the breath, when you're just like, it felt like we were there for so long. We had a juice party, we sat by the campfire, we were in the hot tub both nights. Um, and the biggest thing for me, as you can tell, I didn't vlog any of it. That wasn't really like a choice. I just really needed that detox for me. Like I didn't realize it until I got out there. First of all, the air was insanely amazing. So much less stress in the air, especially with what's every, you know everything that's going on. It was so nice and I'm so glad I didn't cancel it. And everyone was like, yo, I am so grateful that you didn't cancel this. And I was just like, man, me too. Like I needed the detox in a way too. Like energy is heavy. Like being back in society, even just for the few hours I've been back, like we were all saying as we were driving in, like you can just feel the change. You can just feel the shifts. You're back in 5G, you know, all this stuff. I feel like I'm running around in circles in my head like a happy dog or something. <laughs> like, I just can't believe that like, I mean, I can believe, but it's like, whoa. To be able to be in a position where I guess I feel able enough to do that and share this thing that has changed my entire life. Literally like this is an example, like me hosting this retreat is like one plus one equals two. Breath work and fasting, you make room to receive. You give everything up to be given everything. Oh my God. I'm gonna start crying like I was in the bathroom. I'm sorry, this clip is gonna be long. Just be, be with me. This is my first retreat and there's many that come and like I'm just like, I wanna do this all the time. It was so filling, it was so natural. Everything came so smooth. There was no hiccups, like everybody got along. We were just so like, by the end, we were literally like, I don't wanna leave. Like we're a tribe now, like allowing ourselves to be open and tears were shed and oh man, stories were told and it was literally like I feel like a breakthrough for a lot of people and I just am eternally grateful that this I got to experience this oh my god I just love it I loved leading everybody through the breath a lot of it was really free flow I did not plan you know what kind of breath work we were gonna do or what techniques we were gonna do I just
just kind of flowed. Nothing else has ever felt this like effortless. That's the word, effortless. It was such a detox for me to not vlog. You don't know how many times I was like, I should vlog, I should vlog. And it was like, wow, my brain is like trained to document and look through a screen. And uh, hopefully you're not like mad I didn't vlog any of it. I just kind of wanted it to be like a present thing. I can't believe I did that, like. And I, I think it's like so even more powerful, like before it was happening, I was like, damn, this is like a really trying time and like a lot of shit is going on. This would be my life. Like I was kind of looking at it like, of course I planned a retreat during this whole thing. And now I'm like, I'm so, this couldn't have been timed out more perfect. Everything about it, everybody that went, you guys all couldn't have been more perfect. Now that it's, you know, happened, I'm ready to go like back into my lab, back into the cave and kind of just like be sponge mode again. Like it, it just makes me want to like learn and like learn even more breath techniques and more things we can do and like build for the next retreat or build for whatever, just, just to like go back into student mode. It's really motivating for that. I don't know, I'm just rambling. I'm just blissed out. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really sleepy, but it's only like three o'clock. I'm in a super like gratitude place. Like I don't even know how to handle it. So I think I'm gonna go like journal it out and honestly, I, I have to take a nap. I, I don't wanna get on my phone and I kinda don't wanna get on my laptop either. Yellow, 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 yellow. So I got some laundry going, cleaned up my room, about to vacuum. Oh, I got, we're in the midst of van life stuff. About to order a mattress off of Amazon. I think I'm gonna go with the Modway. It's the Avaline mattress by Modway. It's a gel infused memory foam with extra cooling support. It's got pretty good reviews. It seems to be like one of the more popular ones that people use. Um, I also got my Reflectix for like official van life video now. I'm gonna cut this out, you know, measure the windows, get some black fabric or some type of protective fabric to keep my privacy in uh, and cover this with the fabric. Probably with fabric glue because I'm lazy. And then just cover the windows basically. It's like an insulation. Um, I'm like, I've heard mixed things, like some people I've read that this actually attracts heat or can attract heat or like if I cover it in black, obviously it'll probably attract heat and I'll mainly be in the van come the summer. All plans go accordingly, so that'll be interesting trial and error to see how that goes. This was like 20 bucks on Amazon, so I didn't expect it to be this big. <sighs> Amazon reviews are so all over the place, you know? Like you have those people that are like complaining about everything and you're like, is it worth like, their opinion really matter that much, but I don't know, this seems to be one of the more popular ones that a lot of van life people stand by, so fingers crossed. Today's kind of a van day in a sense. I need to return some screws and get some different ones to put that beam in the middle that I mentioned in the last vlog just to get some more stability and as far as the bed goes. I'm like ready to have a mattress in it. Yesterday I took a nap. <laughs> I take, like, I'm so used to already, like, being in cars. I took a nap in my Jeep, like, I just went to a park. I'm such an old lady, or an old man. Yeah, I parked at a park and posted up, and I didn't really plan to do that, but I was like, you know what? I just put the seat back, and I was knocked for, like, 15 minutes. Woo! It's steaming up, Atlanta. It's, like, annoying that I have an apartment. That's where it's at. I just want to be moved into the van so that, like, Driving somewhere isn't like, oh, I'm gonna have to drive all the way back home. You know what I'm saying? I got wood screws, was test drilling a little bit, learned a thing or two about power tools, had to call my dad, but we are learning. We are getting it slowly. I need help. <laughs> I can't do it all by myself. So the van, like I mentioned in the previous vlog, is forcing me to ask for help. I have the beam, I have the screws. I'm ready to put in this middle beam for the bed. I just need someone to hold the beam while I screw. I'm also definitely learning how to park her. She is like a mini school bus, it feels like, for me. Um, so it's a little intimidating to park. And I think I'm gonna try to practice more like reversing in the parking spot. I don't really know what to do with the rest of the day. I have my bike in here. I wanna ride. I just don't know where I want to ride or what I wanna do. I'm having a Libra moment. Libra moon. We decided sitting in the sun is winning. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of planning-ish. So I made like six week programs for breath work, but I'm kind of like redoing them as far as what I thought I wanted them to look like. So I'm changing up the format, 
I guess you could say. I'm kind of trying to plan that out a little bit, but I also just want to sit in the sun. It feels so good. Tomorrow's gonna be 84 degrees. I'm gonna be outside all day long. And it's Friday. I'm outside all day. Spending the entire day. Everybody's outside, and all of this music is coming out of my face. It's been blowing and blowing and blowing and blowing. So it's howling and howling and howling and howling. But like in detox and all of the things and pollen. And there's David. The juice party continues. <laughs> it never really ended, actually. We got everything. This is, this is happening. Everything you can think of. We're juicing now. You want to juice now? Just do it. I'm get just over. Like, I got these two juices in here. <laughs> I don't like, like, Why did we get all this juice? <laughs> yeah, I'll drink one. What? Yeah, sign me up. Gotta breathe today, but I won't drink one. Guys, why are we like this? We don't need any of these things. It's quality entertainment. For sure. It's just, at least we're aware of it, you know? It's like. like <laughs> Sometimes I don't know if that makes it better or worse. Yeah, like, true. But, yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's a good point. Like I go back and forth in my head, I'm like, I'm aware of it and I'm still doing it. So. Yeah. But either way, whatever. We had sugar cane juice, fresh sugar cane juice. That was really good. And we got a box of how many yeah. pounds of apples? You know, one bag is like three pounds of yeah, it. Yeah, so we got like 40 pounds of apples, basically. It's very chill. It's like 40 pounds of apples, a case of coconuts, some really good Rocket sure fuel, juice. dandelion, fennel, moringa. Mm. Here we got moringa. It does. It really looks like a fake plant, <laughs> like in the jungle. Got a new strainer, so that's really exciting. It's the little things. It is the little things. This is guy. Why you guys watch this channel, right? To see me get new strainers. This is the content you've been asking for. I didn't vlog any of the juice party. No, it was like game over. Yeah. This is what really happens. Yeah, right? We switched it around and then did the light. Behind the scenes of a juice photo shoot. Check it out. This is how it takes us <laughs> right. 30 minutes to get a picture. And we don't even drink this shit. <laughs> Literally. Not thirsty at all. I don't want to drink any of this. So full of it. Juice. Anybody want any? <laughs> right. Juice bar coming soon. How many gallons, girl? I'm not so juiced today, guys. One, two, three gallons, four gallons, four and a quarter, close to four and a half. Like it's the retreat again all over or something? Yeah, it's just us two. <laughs> and I'm not gonna drink any of that today. I don't know why I still watch beauty gurus, but I don't know. Nicole Guerrero will forever be like one of my favorite beauty gurus. I don't wear makeup or do any of the things, but I'm just like her. Anyway, David left. Shout out to David if you watch this. Such a good friend. So glad we met. So crazy how like universe works and stuff. Cause like, I don't know if I ever said, but he came to my retreat. So literally this time last week, we were 
just like getting back from the retreat we had just met and then um he was just doing a bit of traveling and let me know that he was in Atlanta and I was like I mean I got a couch and like I just I don't know me as the traveler that I am I always want a couch <laughs> or somewhere to sleep and not have to pay for an Airbnb so he just stayed for the weekend and it was so nice to like just juice and hang out and oh man it was such a good weekend and anyway after he left I just took a great nap <laughs> My sleep schedule is so all over the place, like not even because of the quarantine, because this is just like my life. But yeah, I'm just drinking some juice. Probably gonna finish this whole thing, even though like I shouldn't. It's day three or four of like just juice and not smoothies, and I feel really good, so I kind of want to keep going. I also totally should have vlogged this, and I'll talk about it maybe later. I don't know. Uh, false promises. But David does a lot of iridology, which is basically like your iris or you're like, you know, looking at your eyes and like your eyes tell you all about the organs within your body. You like take this really close up picture of your eyes. Yeah, it's really crazy how much your eyes tell you about yourself. And he was like going over all my stuff with me before he left. And it was just like, whoa. <laughs> y'all think i'm healthy no i'm just kidding but it's it's really like there's no like perfect eye like there's a lot of shit going on with everybody and a lot of it is like you came into it with these things like from whatever your mom or from whatever like you came in with these things i don't really like remember all the things he was saying it's really fascinating definitely recommend iridology for anybody that's like trying to dig a little deeper into detox it will tell you everything that you need to know um anyway for the night i'm just kind of like doing this and then tomorrow's my day off. Mondays are always my day off. But it's like my day off from like appointments or meetings or phone calls or anything. Like it's like my C bud day. So even though like every day is C bud day, like what I do this weekend that was not C bud. <laughs>